Hi everyone, today I'm talking about the 7 things that I believe you need to become a millionaire. Now, these are like concrete facts or from some sort of book. These are kind of 7 things that I feel like I need to do in my life to get to a millionaire status. And I thought I'd share them. Um, I actually got this idea from reading an article and it is... This person that wrote this article said that these are the 7 things that are really important to millionaires and that's where they generate most of the wealth. And I kind of spun that into um, a 2018 version where someone my age is trying to get there and the best ways that they could do it. So some of the things were taken from there but I changed a few of them where I think is a lot easier and potential to make a lot of gains from that was kind of missed off that article. So the very first one and probably the most important one on this list because otherwise you won't get to any of the numbers on this list is a basic wage. So um, wherever you leave... Um, work, school, whatever, um, education, the first thing you need to get is a basic wage um, which will open up a lot more of these paths for you. Um, one thing that I learned after probably like three years of being out of education and working full time, the first three, three, first three years I learned is that a basic wage gets dull after a while and what I felt like is that I needed some commission um, and that, make, that makes a massive difference and if you're not on commission um, at your workplace, I would definitely recommend having some sort of commission scheme and say, um, saying to your boss, look, uh, even if it means dropping my work, wage slightly as it is, if I hit these targets, I get this amount of money. And they're probably going to be more keen if it's making them money and you're getting more money, then everyone's kind of happy, really. Um, so, commission is a big, massive difference that I felt over the years um, that helped me motivate myself at work. Um, so. A basic wage and commission is very two very important things that you need to be having um, to set yourself up to achieve these goals. So I feel like I have that myself, um, so that's a, a good thing. Um, number two, probably the easiest one on this list, all it takes is to set up a bank account. But when you set up a bank account, try and look for um, bank accounts that offer you kind of cash backs or a good percent interest on your bank balance. Um, to be honest with you, this is probably going to, um, out of all these, this is the one that's going to, if all the other ones are successful, that's probably going to make you the least money. But it is the easiest to do, um, which I think probably everyone watching this video actually is already uh, achieving. Um, the third one, probably not the, the order is kind of, if I could or change it around, that wouldn't be number three on the list. The first two probably are. Uh, property investment. Now, probably after you've made a good bit of money from doing this, and one of the ones later down here, which I'll talk about, um, property investment is a good way to go. Um, properties all always increase in um, the value, even when we have kind of recessions. Property values always go up. Um, you look ten years ago, I think that um, house prices at the moment have pretty much doubled or nearly tripled over the last ten years alone. Um, and if you buy a property and you rent it out, your mortgage costs are covered, and you might make a, a bit a bit of money as well. Um, from renting it out if you pay a good chunk up and get a mortgage so it's a nice steady income and pretty much if you rent it out to someone else they're pretty much covering the mortgage and in 10-15 years time you're pretty much getting a free house whatever that may be worth a hundred thousand two hundred thousand very easy money to be making and um, once you get the cycle going and you get your foot on the ladder um, which I currently have done I currently own two properties um, technically I own three but I don't count the third one because um, I, uh, I live in that one um, so I own two properties that I currently rent out um, number four stocks and dividends once you get a bank wage and you start uh, building your bank balance up bank interest rather than letting it in there you want to make that money make you money without you having to do work so this one and this one um, are two ones that you should be looking at after doing that so the first one is to invest in stocks uh, or stocks that pay dividends. Now, stocks that pay dividends are normally less work and easier money. Um, but if you go for value stocks, you're still going to make a good chunk of money when you sell them on. If you need more information about stocks, dividends, I make loads of videos about stocks and dividends all the time, but it's a really good way to increase your wealth, um, which I currently do as well. Um, online retail, um, it's very easy to set up an online retail, just selling something on Amazon, eBay, um, just pretty much Google something, e.g. scarves, and you could come an online retailer selling scarves if you pick the right product. 
um, it takes a little bit of research but when you get it going very easy to make which I currently do um, tutorial courses so um, if you're very good at a school skill I recommend making some sort of course to um, teach other people um, I currently do that with my main job um, uh, I currently make uh, uh, help vi helpful videos for them um, I kind of do it for a stock market video but I don't get paid for it potentially in the long term you know if they ever did get popular then I would do but during my normal work I help people by doing uh, tutorial courses currently don't get paid that much for it um, but obviously if you get more of an audience doing it then you get more of an income from it so I do that but I don't get that much money from it but it's another step on there um, and seven is to invest in someone else so if um, you have a bit of money and someone else is really good at something and um, they don't have the money listen to the ideas um, maybe it's a good idea to invest in them I'll give you an example I have a friend that's very good at um, buying and selling cars but sometimes he struggles to get the money to buy and sell cars so sometimes I give him a bit of the money we split it 50-50, he does all the work but I make a nice bit of money from it uh, another example is um, my uh, someone in my family actually knows a lot about football boots and they um, go buy football boots and they sell them I give them the money to do it um, and we make 50-50 um, each and make a got a lot of money off that so there are seven ways that you can increase your income to become a millionaire they say that you need seven sources of income and these are seven sources that I think would be really good ones and from my point of view I'm doing all seven um, so hopefully one day we'll get to that status um, obviously you can track it all because I've been making the YouTube videos but those are my recommendations guys give the video a like and I'll see you in the next video where I'll probably be doing my 10 stocks uh, to watch in July or and probably the 4 stocks that I'm buying into July as well so guys give the video a like and watch out for them two videos